This is Lake Jackson one day after a heavy rain. Just two days earlier, this part of the lake looked like this. The birds have really come out now that Porter Sink Basin is full, much like they did in June of 2021, right after the lake dried down. Birds seem to love this dynamic lake. These are definitely the same birds I saw last night. Lake Jackson's a great birding destination because of the diversity of habitats it has within it and around it. And then a big part of that is the fluctuating water levels. In the eBird app, four of the top 10 birding hotspots for Leon County are on Lake Jackson. Today, we join the lake's top eBird observers to find out why. Morning. Good to see you guys. Hey, Ron. Are one of you starting a list? I have a list, but um, it's without. It started without you guys, and I got the barn owl this morning. So. <laughs> Julie started her list on eBird, a free app created by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. It collects data on birds for researchers and bird enthusiasts alike. Falk Landing is Leon County's top birding hotspot on the app. Falk Landing is absolutely my favorite birding spot. It brings together a variety of habitats. You've got the brushy area as you're walking up. And you've got grassy trails that are great for sparrows. Then go straight up. And it's closer to us, but it's in the tree line. Oh, yeah. And you've got open fields, which are great for raptors and also sparrows. And then there's the lake itself. Lake Jackson is a phenomenal place to go birding. The diversity is really incredible here in this big, shallow lake. This lake is known for its dry-down events. Since June of 2021, Lake Jackson hasn't held water for more than a month or two at a time. So the sinkhole's been down since early November. So it's been down for a couple months, and then uh, just in the last week or so, we've had somewhere in the two to four inch range of precipitation. So even with just that, the, the sinkhole's become inundated again, as well as a lot of the other shallow areas of the lake. The edge of water is always on the move, and that might be a reason birds like it here. The birds will use the moving edge of the water as a place to target and take the opportunity to forage. There's a big wader bird diversity here. Your egrets and herons, wood storks are all here, and they're all work the edges. When the lake drains, you've got all this mud flat, and the mud flat is for me, the part that I really love. I think just a function of having more exposed mud brings in a lot of shorebirds, uh, brings in a lot of things feeding on emergent insects that are coming up. When the lake fills, the edge moves again. New shallow areas are created and new islands and bars. When water moves, fish and invertebrates move or become exposed and birds follow. Right after the drawdown, it's just a massive influx. <laughs> and it can be quite interesting. Uh, it's the best uh, osprey photography. Mm. You know, in the little sinkhole, there'll be hundreds of big fish. So I just have this great series of ospreys with huge fish. <laughs> so, these birders have seen that a dry down brings out a lot of birds, but how many? Is it more than when it's full? For an attempt at an answer, Julie turns to eBird. So on eBird, there's a, a function where you can um, go to a hot spot, which Falk Landing is, and you can put the setting on first seen and see when a species was first seen in this location. This is a list showing how many new bird species have been spotted at Falk Landing over the last decade. The number jumps starting in June of 2021 when the lake dried down for the first time since 2012. The jump was likely due to the dry down, but maybe not in the way you'd think. 
like Julie was talking about earlier. I mean, the last couple of years, the number of species seen here has just exploded. And part of that is, is certainly the birds coming here, but part of that is a lot more people visit during the dry down. I don't know if anywhere else in Florida you can see something like this. More people equal more potential observers. More observers, more birds observed. And no one has made more observations than the birders here today. For this group, eBird isn't just a data collection tool. It's how they became friends. Because of eBird, when you go to a hot spot, a county, a state, you become familiar with the people who are regular birders because they're constantly making checklists. The little group of friends that formed a confederation of sorts, you know, we helped each other find stuff, egged each other on. I think we all found so many birds. Um, I think they're always here, maybe, uh, but we all had a kind of a coordinated effort, you know. These guys have helped me learn a lot too, um, yeah. Yeah, especially good. in the early mm -hmm. days when, you know. Before 2020, I, I couldn't have told you that a female cardinal was a cardinal. The the <laughs> yeah. Again, eBird is a free app. You do need to create an account to start a bird list, but not to explore hotspots and view data. Falk Landing is the top Leon County hotspot, but there are several other hotspots at other boat landings and parks around the lake. As to whether a dry down brings in more birds, more observers may mean more observations, but there do need to be birds to observe. For WFSU, I'm Rob Diaz de Villegas.